Hey everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. So we are finally in the dead center of the Halig Tree. We're at the prayer room. Um, if you haven't talked to Millicent already, go do that now. Otherwise, let's carry on with it. So, first off, what we're going to do is just follow the main path. These guys explode, so just keep that in mind. Alright, we'll take this left door in. How did you dodge all that? We've got the Halig Gauntlets, nice. We've got a Golden Rune 12. Let's see what the little blades do here. Alright, sweet. Coming on to our left. Ah, so this will be a path we want to take late, not later, soon. So just keep that there for the moment. All right, drop down onto the stairs. Take out this dude. There's an explodey dude to our left. All right, carrying on straight ahead here. Uh, I'm just going to take out these guys before we go any further. We've got the Halleck Tree home, nice. Uh, helm, not home, wow. Alright, and let's search in here. Smithing seven. All right, and we've got triple rings of light. Damn, forgot to do something at the start of the episode. So, um, with this pathway knocked out, you've got like a, a couple of dudes here. You've got a couple of clean rot knights in this particular room here. We'll just grab the immunizing white cured meat. Um, from here, I'm just going to go back to the prayer room. Now, if your faith is not at 10, then I would suggest putting something on with faith, uh, or even just a rune arc. We've got plenty, so I'm going to use those. Um, I... Yeah, I'll probably be using the Bloodhound Spang for this, so... The Claw Mark Seal. And then a Healing Spell of some description. Um... Memorize spell, let's go. Let's just go heal. That, that's basic enough. Okay, so now we're going back to that um that corridor that we didn't explore. Oh, you're nasty. Alright, so once you get to the top of the stairs here, just take a left, come in here. Kill this dude at the bottom because he'll sneak up behind you. Alright, he's fine. Go 
grab the smithing eight. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come all the way back to the base of those stairs here. Good marker. What we're going to do is jump down this one. And jump down here. Or drop down here, I should say. And then now, if you're clever enough, you can actually just drop yourself all the way to the, um, to the base of this. If you hit the... Uh, See, we can't pull lever. If you hit the center of the platform, it'll actually automatically come up and skip this whole area for you. Um, I'm not going to do that, obviously. It's a walkthrough. Instead, I'm just going to jump down over here. Now, we cannot use the summons, and this guy is pretty hearty when he wants to be. So just remember, don't back yourself into a corner. Um, roll to the left or the right if he wants to use a rot, uh, rot jump. Like this, just left, and then get behind him. Oh, I can't get a critical on you, I'm sorry. I don't know why I apologize for not being able to get a critical on him. Oh, that should have been a connect. That's fine, he's out. All right, so we got the Rotten Star from him. Going to continue up this path north just to finish that off. Grab the Newman's Rune. And kill the Crystal Bastard. Oh no, that's the wrong thing to hit. He's going to kill me. Please don't kill me. God, I can't stand those things. All right, with him dead, grab the Somber 9. Um, don't worry about going over there. At this point, we will be going over there much later. Um, so I would recommend having at least a couple of Cerulean Tears, just if you don't have those, which I should have probably mentioned before, but oh well. <laughs> it's a common practice. We use enough SP. Anyways, come over here, grab the Somber. Ancient smithing stone. Jump down here. There's no items. All right, now we're going to face our royal reven revenants here. So you can pull out a summons. What I'm going to do first is just drop down. No one's summoning right now, so we're going to not go any further than what we are. Now, this here is a... um. A legendary something or other, so you need it for your it's a talisman. So you need it for your platinum. I remember that. Okay, now coming on out here. Healing is the best way to hurt these things. There we go. I'm just trying to keep my um my FP usage down. But I mean if you yeah, if you want to do a second heal on them and hurt them. By all means. Why is it so dark? There we go. Run up, poopy heal off. Get a critical if you can. Awesome. Now, before checking any other areas, just going to make sure there are no reverence going to pop out. 
That is fine. I can hear one. Oh, I can't create the boluses. Damn it. Oh, that's fine. Nothing over this way, nothing over that way. Should be two more of these guys. Maybe three. Oh. You little nasty. Alright, so there's a, a little area that we're going to search in there. Uh, I just want to get rid of all these revenants. Two King Rot Knights? Wow, dudes. All right, there should be one more Royal Revenant pop-up. Does he pop up around here? He does. Smithing 8, and that ladder will take us up to a place where we don't want to be, so just ignore that. Um, pretty much same with that ladder. We'll get there later. Uh, if we go in this room, your mimic or your summon of any kind will probably disappear. Um, so you can sort of drag this guy out here. Or not. Oh, dude. Why is this guy giving me so much grief? <laughs> All right, so it's one out of three down. Yeah, there's three of them. Alright, so you can see the Mimic uh, symbol is like blinking. Alright, he's down. Nice. Grab the Samba 9, and then we have one more dude over here, which I'm not sure my Mimic will survive to, but that's fine. Oh. All right, game time. Don't you fly around, you zippy little dude. All right, grab the pickle turtleneck. Um, so I think that's actually all we've got in this room, was a pickle turtleneck. 
And something else. There's no chest. There's no chest. Okay, so that's it for that bottom area. We're going to go now back to the prayer room. We're going to get all our health back. Um, and carry on the semi-main path. So we can get rid of that now. Oh, just jump over him, that's fine. Stop that. Just savaging all your way through these guys. All right, then we have uh, two or three clean rot knights down here. However, I'm not actually going to take them out right now. What I'm going to do is we're going to go up to the top of the stairs here. Grab the great uh, lightning great bolt and we're going to take on this dude who just seemed to appear on here. Is he going to jump? Yep, he made it. Not for long. Coming on through here, we hit the chest. Clean Rot Knight Finlay. Looks kind of cool, always wanted to try him out, but never did. Is he, no, he hasn't come back yet. Okay, so now from here, we're just going to jump over to this ledge and go up. Grab this Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Wow, that's a mouthful, man. Like Somber Stone plus 10. I would have been quite happy with that. Seedbed Curse. Now that's the final one we need. Um, I guess we just jump down this way. Nothing on top of there. That's fine. So we're going to run to the end of this. Oh, poise, dude. Okay, now this particular area here, <clears throat> so we're going to jump down, there's, um, there's a big tree behind that pillar, I'm not going to bother with it, I don't think I should. Uh, jumping down here is just suicide, you've got ballistas right up by my head here, you've got ballistas up right by my head there. So, uh, instead of that, what we're going to do is we are going to... Hmm. Okay, you know what? I feel like there's an item here. I am going to go to the tree. That's fine. You can rot me. Ooh, my last bolus. Nope, I was wrong. That is fine. Um, so from here, we're going to come back onto this pillar here and go back up into the room with the two clean rot knights.
push him off. Alright, this is the one we fought before, and this is the new one. Uh oh. Pretty sure that move is like instant rot. Anyways, we took three of them out, that's fine. Coming out on the ledge here, we have this item that we could have jumped to a while back but we didn't the golden rune 10 and then outside the staircase is what links all of this area together we've got a smithing seven now this area can be kind of hard just because it's um it's real dark in the room and it's just it's a pain in the booty so what we're going to do is run all the way out to the left out into the open Actually, here should just about do it. There's one more clean rot somewhere and I'm freaking out because I don't know where he is. There he is. Don't you guard counter me. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yep, instant rot. Damn it. That's fine, we're coming up on a grace soon, we just need to survive long enough. All right, so grab the bolts, warming stone. Nothing else in here. Or oh, is there? Spirit flame arrows, yay. Big winner. Okay, good news is this is relatively easy to get back to this point if you die. The bad news is we're gonna have to do a pretty pain in the ass jump. Kill these guys and their ballistas. Smithing stone eight. Oh. Grab the Halig Tree Soldier Ashes. For the sake of not being rotted, I'm gonna heal. Right now, this is the jump we need to make. So I'd suggest getting some higher ground and then just Jumping and hoping for dear life. Yes, we got there. If not, just roll straight past that tree dude. And into, into here, there's a ladder right here. We can get that item, so it's no problem. So, straight past him, into here, and there's your grace. Even if you touch it, you'll be fine. Alright, now before we finish on up the episode, we are going to take out this tree sentinel. Um, I would definitely recommend just throwing something at it, I guess. What have we got to throw at it? Let's try a fan dagger. Okay, that's what that does. You don't want to fight this thing with its friends. Oh lord. Just spraying rot all over the place. Why do you keep doing that? Fine, do it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, so this guy's really tough. I don't know why he just decided to spam a whole bunch of rot.
Right, gravity stone fang. That did nothing. Um. Well, okay. Didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, but that is fine. Don't you start spamming that rot, you little bastard. Oh, all the stupid attack. I'm not even going to cut these out because, like, I guarantee you, like, majority of players will die to this just as much as I am right now. Um, and as the end of the episode, we have, like, two, maybe three items to collect. And I got time to spare. Okay, but I really need to get it on this attempt, though. Yep, that's fine. You do your laser balls, whatever's. Hit me through the wall, you asshole. Concentrate face. Yeah, can I get the critical, please? Thank you. And he's down. See, once I concentrate, I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, we've got a Lord's Rune for him. Now, once you get out here, you can do your summons. Uh, this is our first introduction to these really meaty Halictree Knights. They can just be horrible. And they heal. Full health. Now, there are ballistas here, so just be careful. Don't you heal. Alright, we've got a sacramental bud. Um, ignoring the guys up top, I'm just going to grab these items over here. So we've got uh, a terrier leaf and a golden rune 11. Yeah, and someone is struggling with this dude. Don't you dare here, oh you little mother father. Um, I actually think that's all the items out here anyway, so that is fine. Ah, cool. I think we should have one more full episode until the boss. And, ooh, we can get up to way more than that, that's fine. Um, let's go... Put this into Dex, yeah, I'm using my Dex weapon more than anything else, we'll use that. Cool. All right. So um, thank you everyone for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. I will see you here next time.